Hello, I'm Lasse Mäkelä, Chief Strategy and IR Officer of Multitude. I will briefly go through Multitude's Q1 2024 results. Let's first go through the key takeaways of our Q1 results. Our revenues grew 18.3% to 64.2 million euros year on year. Our EBIT grew by 31% to 11.6 million, and we confirm our 67.5 million euros EBIT guidance for year 2024, despite the elevated credit losses in Q1 2024. Capital Box acquired an invoice purchasing business of Omniveta to strengthen its factoring offering in SME customers. And we launched a share buyback program during Q1 2024. Here is an overview of our company. In order to save time, please visit our elevator pitch regarding us, where we go in more detail about explaining who we are. But let's go to directly to the numbers. Our focus during H1 has been to accelerate growth initiatives. We have been focusing on the organic partnerships and M&A growth in all business units. Our turnover grew 18.3% year on year, and this was one of the strongest growth quarters for us, where all three business units delivered double digit growths. Our EBIT grew to 11.6 million, which is 31% year on year growth, despite higher credit losses in parts of the business. And we strengthened our SME market with the acquisition of the OmniMeta business. And overall, we have a strong cash position in the company. Now, looking ahead, our successful four years EBIT guidance will end this year. And our guidance still for this year is to reach an EBIT of 67.5 million euros. And our new guidance on top of the existing EBIT guidance is this net profit guidance. And our guidance is really to reach more than 30 million euros by 2026 for the full group. Let's look at our consumer banking during Q1 2024. We had an excellent performance at Ferratum. We reached 12.9% growth year on year to 54.1 million euros. And our EBIT grew by more than 50% to 12 million euros during Q1. During Q1, we also did some technical preparations to enable embedded financial partners. And there was a change in marketing bidding strategy, which again improved our results. So we are in the process of scaling this new strategy into our existing countries. And our target for 2024 is still almost conservative, reaching more than 5% higher EBIT than the previous quarter. But as these numbers show, consumer banking has been doing an excellent performance during Q1. Let's go to our SME banking. On our SME banking side, we focused on growth and we increased our provisions for the risks. So really, we reached 40% growth year on year, up to 7.7 .7 million, mainly driven by organic growth. We increased our credit risk provisions due to the growth, but also we saw some recoveries in a few areas of Capital Box. Our underwriting criteria has been adjusted accordingly right away. And we expanded our sales partnership channels. The secured lending portfolio was growing and the acquisition of Omniveta business added to our SME sort of offering for going forward, especially in the Nordics now first, but then we are planning to expand that to other areas of the SME business. Our target for 2024 is still to reach 10 million euros EBIT, as stated earlier. So let's look at the wholesale banking highlights for Q1 2024. There is a huge addressable market, robust growth, but we are also maintaining strong filters on risk side for the growth. The revenue grew to 2.3 million euros, which almost doubled year on year. Our EBIT reached 1 million euros during the first quarter. We are happy to welcome Alan Nudecker, who started as the Tribe CEO of the Wholesale Banking Unit in April. The business unit during this first quarter has been actively engaging to marketing and public relations efforts to promote the product and generate high quality leads. Target wise, we are finalizing our external targets, which will be published during H1 publication. As a summary, let's look at the income statement as a whole. So all in all, our revenue grew by 18.3% to 64.2 million euros, and our net interest income increased by 
10.5% after increased interest expenses. Provisions for impairment losses increased, driven by significant business volume growth and due to elevated credit losses in some capital box markets. But mitigating actions have already been taken. Our personal expenses somewhat elevated due to new hires, general cost pressure and new initiatives. But overall, if you look at our profitability, our EBIT increased by 31% to 11.6 million euros and our net profit grew by 13% to 2.6 million euros during Q1 2024. EBS grew by almost 49% to 7 euro cents per share. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any further questions, please be in contact with uh, myself or our IR team. And thanks again. <music>